Hey Leo, it's me, Sagittarius Soltero. I'm going to go ahead and do your guys' April reading because I know I've been kind of delayed on it because I haven't been feeling well. I've been working a lot. So, sorry guys, I haven't got all the signs done. I still have to do yours. I have to do Scorpios, Taurus, Capricorn, and Aquarius. So, kind of delayed. So, what I want to do is first I want to do the past, what happened with you guys in regards to love or general reading. I'm going to do what happened in the past first. Then I'm going to do currently what's going on with my you know, moonology and stuff cards. So, let me light some incense real quick. So, I kind of forgot before I started filming. I'm not. I'm doing the kamacha or something. I forget what it's called. But, um, because I lit this one incense and it smelled really bad to the point where I was gagging during my video. So, I want to make sure I do a good one for you guys. Here, I'm trying to get this lighter to work. Sorry, guys. I'm a little sidetracked. When ain't I, though? Let me go ahead and get it started and get it lit here. Okay, and I'm going to do past, present, and future. Take whatever resonates. If it resonates for love, for the past of your life in general. Okay. So let's go ahead and get three shuffles. I'm going to do the past and then do currently what's going on and then in the future what's to come as well. Okay, this reading might be a little bit different than the other ones that I did, like the other signs. I, I always get like creative the days that I film and then I forget exactly how... I did the reading, so just as long as it be past, present, future, I don't see a, you know, problem. Alright, let's go ahead and get what happened in the past for Leo. Okay, two of pentacles, two of wands reverse, six of swords, quick knight of pentacles. A lot of kind of determination to make things work is your overall energy here. A lot of trying to make things work. A lot of bouncing back and forth to figure out if you should move on from a situation or stay there. Okay, then it could be anywhere from finances or love or in general. Like, you're kind of not sure where your path is, where you belong. Like, you feel like you want to walk away. Okay, but it's like you're still kind of weighing out your options or giving it some thought. So, let's get two shuffles and I'll clarify. Could we know with an air sign, earth, or a fire here? But there's a sense of kind of knowing your direction but afraid to move forward. Okay, so let's get the two of pentacles here. Alright, Four of Cups reversed and the Ten of Cups. Because it's like you see potential with somebody. Okay, you're opening your heart in the past to somebody here. I feel like it's love related. Because I do have the Knight of Cups. This person came in like Prince Charming. Trying to sweep you off your feet. Like offer you the shebang here. Like the happily ever after. But maybe they kind of were coming off of the King of Wands reverse and the Seven of Wands. Almost like you weren't really sure how they felt about you passionately. And it's like kind of almost like too good to be true. Okay, with the two of wands reverse, let's see. Alright, the temperance and the five of wands reverse, page of cups reverse. So there's a lot of kind of indecision when it comes to this connection. Like, you're kind of afraid you're making the wrong decision. Because it's like this person had you in your feelings a lot. You're kind of all over the place. Could have been a Sagittarius or, like, another fire sign, like I said, because I do have the five of wands reverse. So it's like you're trying to avoid conflict, and you feel like whatever decision you made was going to make this person get mad. Okay, but it's a very unapologetic or young person you were dealing with. Someone immature, someone that always wanted to quickly move forward. Okay. Let's get the Six of Swords in the past. Okay, the Devil in Reverse. <coughs> and the Three of Cups. So a sense of, you know, realizing something is kind of not working out here. You don't want to have any attachments to something to kind of move forward. What well, is the sense of still wanting to come together and see what you can do? Because overall, you see the four of wands here. You see happiness. But there's still some things you regret or some things that you feel guilty for. Okay, but there's a sense of kind of like a stuck energy in the past. You guys aren't really sure where you were headed, where you were meant to be. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do in the current moment, how is Leo feeling currently? And this could be anywhere from, you know, like today, tomorrow, you see this video. So where are you guys at currently? And then I'll do the tarot and stuff. So where are you guys at currently? Okay, adversity. So you are willing to accept challenges in your life. Willing to accept changes, challenges. Okay, we also have fear though. But there's, a, a, there's also a, <coughs> a little bit of fear here. Okay, like you're... It's kind of like... Because then under that we have empathy in the reverse. So it's like you're trying to be more adaptable to yourself here. And be kind of understand yourself better, but there's a sense of being scared of changes. It's like you're willing to accept challenges, 
but you're also scared, okay? Which, I mean, well, aren't we all? Like, when we have new things coming in, we you just never know the outcome, you know? So, let's go ahead and get immunology currently for Leo. Okay, so you're very close to achieving your goal. So, whatever you guys are trying to achieve, I feel like you guys are very close to it. Whether it be in romantically or, in, you know, your job. Meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. Okay, you guys could have been doing a lot of, you know, contemplating and a lot of thinking. Like, how to get this figured out. Maybe it felt like a challenge in the beginning. Okay, and it's like you were kind of... I don't know why I'm seeing, like, blue... Those, like... What's that called? Like, the blue, uh... People that are architects use, like, the blue paper blueprint. Like, I'm seeing, like, you were, like, right out of blueprint or something. Of, like, how exactly you're gonna make this work. Okay, I'm getting a lot of blue, too, so... Alright, let's see. I do have solitude in the reverse, okay? So, Virgo energy, like, not studying enough. Like, you're still wanting to study and kind of know your way through a situation with transformation, a lot of changes. Okay, spiritual sacrifice, or spiritual strength in the reverse. It's like it was testing you spiritually, whatever you're going through. Movement, choices, decisions, a lot of, you know, making choices here. With mental conflict here currently, you have a lot of conflict, deception, a lot of things that you're trying to figure out. Okay, let's go ahead and see a romantic advice to romantic advice cards here and then I'll do some zodiac and I'll do a quote for you guys currently okay so we have heart to heart conversations here and then honeymoon so spend more time with those you know that you deeply care about religious factors in the reverse so maybe you guys are having a hard time seeing each other at the same point of view okay but there is a lot of trust here and romantic feelings for whoever you're currently dealing with okay finances and career might be a factor as well all right, let's get some zodiacs. Okay, they could be a Taurus. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces. Okay, or they could have this in their moon sign. So their moon sign could be Taurus, Air, or a Pisces. On the other side, we do have Earth too. So, okay, so let's get into the tarot currently and see what is going on for you guys. Or actually, no way, I forgot the quote. I'm going to get the quote, and then I'll get currently, like, what's going on uh, currently with tarot. So let's get a quote for Leo. Okay, so we have two here. We have, I love who I am becoming. Okay, yeah, like, a lot of transformations changes it. Changes. <laughs> Great things are done by series of small things brought together. So maybe, and that's Vincent Van Gogh. So maybe you guys are slowly, like, almost like, an, you know, an art piece. You guys are slowly building yourself together. Or, you know, drawing your life one, you know, piece at a time, which is weird because I said blueprint, like drawing, and, and, and I didn't even know I was going to pull a Vince Mango, but Shadow, he's not an architect, but still it's about, like, you know, slowly, you know, putting something together, like, progress takes time, you know? I'm forgiving. Sketch pad of your life. Yeah, this, yeah, exactly. My mom said the sketch pad of your life. It's basically it, like, blueprint. I was thinking that even before I called that card, like, you thank you. Uh -huh. I had a brain fart. I am forgiving and my compassion replaces anger with love. Okay, the quality of your life comes down to the thoughts that you think on a regular basis. Okay, so you're trying to be more forgiving and trying to give yourself time to heal. Which is cool because these cards kind of look similar. If you see like the colors and the flowers, it's like you're blooming yourself like slowly. Okay. Now let's get into the tarot and see currently what's going on with Leo. Thanks for being my other brain, Mom. <laughs> I appreciate you. I feel like my intuition's been really on point today. That's why I feel like doing these videos. Okay, let's do what's currently going on with Pi not Pisces, Leo. Oh, I'm getting all like, distracted. <laughs> so they're on the sign. Okay, Four of Swords reverse, Ace of Swords reverse, Eight of Swords, Nine of Cups reversed, Four of Pentacles. A lot of mental energy right now, okay? It could be doing with an air sign or just a sense of, you know, there's a, like a lack of communication from somebody is what I'm seeing. And it's got you kind of in your head right now. You're kind of like, where do I go from here? You know, I don't have all the answers I need, all of the, you know, all the things that I need to know about whatever is going on in your life. You don't really know the answers. Everything feels at, you know, like a stopping point. And it's like you're stuck. You're like, should I stay? How do I get out of this? 
Okay, I feel like maybe it's somebody you've taken time away from, someone you haven't been talking to, or just somebody that you just feel like you don't really know what else to say to them. Let's get one more shuffle. Okay, let's do the Four of Swords reverse for currently. Five of Wands reverse and the Devil reverse. Nine of Swords reverse. I feel like you're taking a time for this on purpose, but you're still thinking about the situation, but I feel like you're not letting it affect you as heavily as it did. Okay, maybe you're not even putting much movement towards it anymore. Because then I have the Chariot reverse, Eight of Cups. So there's something here you're trying to get rid of. Okay, something that you're still kind of thinking about every now and then, kind of like how could be the best way to handle a situation. But I don't feel like there's a lot of, like, stressing or anxiety anymore. I feel like you're just not wanting it to be stressful or cause too much drama and not be toxic. It could be a Capricorn you're dealing with. Okay, but I feel like you're not really letting something affect you like you once did. Or you're just over the drama, over the, you know, the stress and negativity. Alright, Ace of Swords reversed. Okay, the Six of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups reversed. Ten of Swords reversed. I feel like you're willing to let something go is what you're doing. With the strength here, the hermit, it's like you're taking this time to find your inner self again. To find yourself, your strength. So that one of you can have the Ten of Cups and be happily fulfilled. Okay, because I feel like right now you're not. Like where you are, I feel like you're kind of giving to multiple people or just in situations you feel like you're kind of being stretched thin. Okay, you're kind of unfulfilled, not really like where you want to be. Okay, there's a lot of things you don't really see truthfully here either in your life. Okay, I feel like there's just too much going on in your life. You're just trying to avoid conflict as much as possible. Alright, let's do the Eight of Swords here. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. So if maybe you are stressing about your abundance or your money. Like, you're stressing about money, okay, or having, like, this relationship maybe. And it's, like, stressing you out. Because maybe it's something new you've been, ha you've been having. Like, this new relationship with, like, a water sign or somebody younger but you're kind of afraid of, like, how, where it's going to go. Like, is it going to have potential? Because it's starting off very, like, new. Something, and it could be anything. It could be, like, a new friendship, a new person in your life. And you're kind of wondering, like, is this person going to financially help me succeed? Or is this going to be just, like, you know, dragging me along? But I feel like eventually you are going to get out of your head with the Eight of Swords reversed. With the Six of Cups. Could have been a past person you're dealing with. Or somebody that kind of reminds you of the past. Okay, so that can help you get out of the past. That could be it as well. So that can help you release. Because maybe some of these triggers that like, currently are from the past still kind of dragging on. Okay, and like lingering. Maybe this person can help you get out of the past. Now let's go ahead and see in the f near future. So this will be anywhere from the end of April going into next month, the next couple of days. See what is going on, where you guys are going to be at the next, you know, in the near future. Where's Le uh, Leo going to be in the near future? Okay, so we have health. So you guys will be really health-oriented, focusing on your health, where you guys are, with grief in the reverse. So it's like you're trying to move on and not let things affect you anymore. Okay, because then we do have abundance in the reverse. Because you notice that things, by holding on to past pain, is causing you to have a lack of abundance. Okay, and then after that we have change. So there you go again, like a whole new cycle. Okay, I feel like you're having a whole new transformation in the near future. And it starts from within, is what I feel. Let's get more and see what the moonology in the near future for Leo. Hold on. Okay. So we have the answers you need are coming, full moon and Gemini. Okay, expect powerful change. Okay, step out of your comfort zone. And then have faith in your dreams. <coughs> so this could be anywhere from like six months from now is what I'm seeing. I know that's a while, but I'm feeling because we are having... Don't we have a full moon every month? Don't we, I think? Because I think we have a full moon every month. And we're having one in Scorpio. So then in um, May, we're going to have one in Sagittarius. And then six months from that, see June, July, August, September, October... Like November, so like the fall going into winter, okay? So have faith in your dreams, step out of your comfort zone, expect powerful change. And then, like the tower card is like Scorpio. So something to do with like, in November. So something to do with like Scorpio season. I feel like you guys are going to have some kind of changes. Something maybe changing for you guys. Very powerful. 
but you have to step out of your comfort zone. Something very new and different. Okay, so that's a lot of thinking, but... Okay, so we have triumphant success, and it's going to be something brand new. Something new that's coming towards you. It's going to be very triumphant and successful. Okay, it could be with a relationship. So we have harmony, <coughs> and then financial and material changes. Okay, so maybe you're going to, like, find your person, and you're going to move in with them and have a different opportunity. Okay, after emotional loss and infertility in the reverse. Okay, so there could be something you felt like wasn't, like you're having some kind of new change, but maybe here you're, in the future you're going through some kind of loss in some way. Something that didn't grow like you wanted it to. I'm, I, I don't want to be like sad or anything, but maybe like it has to do with like losing a child or losing somebody. And there's something here, and then you're taking time to rest and rejuvenate, Okay. <laughs> And then balance, trying to get yourself back together. So there's something about losing something, being sad. But then it's like new changes are coming for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some romance angels for the near future. For Leo, near future. Okay, children in the reverse. Now this is getting me kind of upset because I don't really want to say this. I, the way the cards that I got, I'm scared, like, I don't want to upset anybody, especially because you're really wanting a child. I'm scared, like, in the near future, you guys are going to maybe have, like, a miscarriage or, like, lose a child or something. Because I had the fertility in the reverse, and then I had emotional loss and children in the reverse. And I really don't know why I'm saying that. It's really upsetting. A loss of a job or something here. Okay, but then we have children in the reverse. Maybe you feel like you're slacking on your children because, or you're getting something to do with children. Heart to heart conversation in the reverse and past life relationship. Could have been somebody from your past you got like back in cahoots with. And now it's like you're kind of and then you feel deceived by this person or you know you feel this person's lying to you, being dishonest, not being truthful about their feelings. Okay, let's go ahead and get Zodiac. I think I'm even really upset. So I'm alright. Could be doing the Virgo here. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Okay, the moon sign, water, Virgo, Aries, and then we got Capricorn. Or they could be having these in any of their signs here. Let's get a quote for the near future. Let's get a quote for the near future for Leo. Okay, I'll grab the tablet. Hold on. Let's get a quote. Okay, we got two again this time. Okay, so we have, I am grateful for the small things and wonders in my life. We often take for granted the very things that most deserve our gratitude. I am proud of all that I have achieved. What you get by achieving your goals is not as important as what you become achieving your goals. <coughs> There's a lot of trying to move forward and be grateful for the opportunities that you have. Okay. And try not to take things for granted in the near future. Maybe you're going through some life lessons in the near future where you're trying to be more grateful and not, you know, take things for granted. Maybe a loss of something. Here, Brayden. Here, I need to finish the thing. Can I do a passport? Yeah, just go ahead. I'm filming. I don't know. Sorry, guys, for the disruption. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what is coming for the near future for Leo. Just general what is coming in. All right, let's see. All right, what is coming in for Leo in the near future? King of Cups reverse, Queen of Swords, Four of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, Haymaid reverse, Page of Wands. Okay, I feel like after a time of, you know, kind of emotionally being kind of, you know, discontent, like not being really happy or not really feeling where you are emotionally, there's going to be some kind of communication coming in or you're going to be communicating more with somebody. And there is going to be potential of like a partnership or marriage or commitment here. And I feel like it's taken a while. And maybe the other person was confused. Could be doing the Pisces here. Could we got the Wheel of Fortune, the Hangman Reverse. Someone's going to be like not scared of this anymore. And maybe the timing is going to be right. Okay. Something about timing and like having to wait. Get two more shuffles for Leo. One 
one more. Let's see here. The King of Cups reverse. Okay, the hair fit and the chariot reverse. Coming in with a water sign like a cancer. Or you coming in with a Taurus here. Okay, eight of cups. Something about the near future you're having to walk away from a situation. Something about, okay, because then we have the eight of cups, the world reverse, nine of wands reverse, nine of pentacles. So it's like you're not, it's like you're walking away from something, but you're kind of afraid to close off a chapter. Okay, or you're scared because, like, you've really seen potential with somebody. There's a sense of right now, like, you're kind of emotionally, like, disconnected because... You're trying to, like, see what you can gain from this situation. But there's, like, no growth or nobody's moving forward. There's a sense of not moving forward and, like, this connection. But you're still trying to, like, kind of observe it and see what else to do. Alright, let's get the Queen of Swords. Okay, Five of Wands reverse again and the Three of Pentacles reverse. Ten of Wands reverse, Eight of Wands. Okay, so there's a sense of... Being very direct here in the near future, I feel like you're wanting to kind of isolate yourself from any drama or anything with conflict, okay? Like, you're being very direct. Like, hey, if you're going to have bad intentions, bad energy, stay away from me. If it's going to be out of, you know, jealousy or pettiness, like, stay away. I feel like you're wanting the, more, the most pure people in your life at this point in the near future, which, I mean, who doesn't? But you don't want people coming into your circle or in your life that are just going to cause unnecessary drama or bullcrap, Okay? But I do feel like your love life is getting better in the near future. I have the Four of Wands here. So let's get the Four of Wands. Okay, the Justice. You're going to get what you feel is fair to you. Okay, with the Temperance Reverse. Okay, but it maybe took a lot of, you know, into, you know, a lot of emotional distress, a lot of crying, being upset over something. Maybe even feeling disconnected from this person with the Two of Cups Reversed, Queen of Cups Reversed. Okay, High Priestess. But you felt like your intuition was telling you after time you know, the Queen of Pentacles here, that this person could be your person. It just took time. Okay, patience. I feel like you maybe you're dealing with a Libra or a Sagittarius, but eventually you are going to get where you want to be. Things aren't going to be fair. Okay, but I do see, like, a little bit of, you know, a little off balance, kind of, like, not really sure where you are emotionally. Okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you like and subscribe and like the video. Thank you.